Uh, we live. Good we live. Good morning, little Timmy. How you Good doing? Good morning. What's up, Nick Nick? Welcome to the party, sir. What's up? How was the weekend? You had a good one? I had a great weekend. Great weekend in New York. Uh, two churches I did in Brooklyn. I did a Caribbean church. How was that? Off the hook. They are they are fun. What uh, happened? Church was like carry chicken. It was carry goat everywhere. They sacrificed the goat. Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> they sacrificed the whole goat. They did not sacrifice no goat. No, nah, it was wonderful. They have, they have the, the energy is amazing in them churches. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the party, Joe Jack. What's up, What's sir? Up, Joe Jack. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Well, let me do the intro as usual. Like and share this feed. Me and little Timmy and others, uh, Big Dell and whoever wants to come to the party, are here each and every weekday morning. We talking about anything and everything, but mostly absolutely nothing. We just wanted to say good morning. Good morning. Let's get this party started. That's right. And it's the most, remember, the most unprepared, prepared show you ever see. Do F not look for perfection. Don't come do it. Talking with your television show, morning show expectations, judging us and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And we doing what the fuck we do. Okay? You know you have a bad day? We we here to make your day worse. <laughs> no, we not. We here to, we here to help you stay. Fuck that bad day. Let's Every get day's up. As fucked up as our show is. Your day gonna get better. It can't get no worse than this. <laughs> Not at all, man. Listen, I just I'm I'm so happy, Timmy, that um this weekend we had so much fun. But did you happen to see the fucking BET Awards, sir? I caught the Mary J. Blige thing because I'm so watching something with my son. But yeah, I caught Mary J. Blige, man. She, that was amazing. When I tell you, yes, yes, yes. When I I'm sorry, I was answering shit. <laughs> When I tell you that thing was fire, I am not exaggerating. That thing was absolute fire. Yep. I only saw part of it, and I caught it at the last minute. Uh -huh. I caught it at the last minute. Motherfuckers know I'm doing this goddamn show. See, this is what I'm talking about. Don't come here with your fucking TV expectations, because sometimes we might have to cuss a motherfucker out during the broadcast. Let me tell you something. The whole time I was watching Mary... 1030 whole... Huh? Okay, I'm back. The whole time I was watching Mary performance, I was yeah. thinking my husband. I was thinking about my whole time. God damn, her husband got all that money. Oh, I was so happy for him. Every time she shook her hands, a, a dollar fell out. It went right to Kano. I didn't hear none of the shit you said, and I'm happy because it was probably something about that bitch. Uh, her husband. Elijah's ex-husband, the hus bitch. Every time she shook that ass, I was like, look at all that money he getting. Oh Lord! Whatever. Let's let's, to, let's just go in and do what the fuck we do by starting this thing. We're gonna start this thing off right because DC was in the motherfucking house. I heard. Night. Let's look at it. Hold on. Hey, there's a lot more where it's coming from. But listen here, I was I just set the clock. Hey, a bunch of coochie butts are on the secret guys in time, and let's rock.
Hello? They did that. They did that. Yeah. Come through DC. That's all I got to say. Just come through. Come all the way through, okay? Sugar bear, but sugar bear. Good morning, sugar. Justin. Welcome to the party. Sugar bear, you know, sugar bear had two suitcases, one for him and the nose. Shut the fuck up. Ain't that wrong with his nose. Bear, I dude. love sugar bear. Good yeah. dude. Sugar Bear rocked that thing out, man. We did it. Don't mute DC. So the BET Awards mm -hmm. uh, pay homage to DC, DC Go Go, and its plight. The Go Go is really taking uh, center stage now. Right. Okay? I'm telling you, it's going to be everything. This in the coming in the but coming. You know what, though? Yeah. That that situation that happened in DC with Go Go was a, bl a blessing for DC. Which one? You talking about the white, the yeah, that was uh, a blessing. Fire coming in, talking that shit. That was a blessing. Well, because it doesn't more light to it. I mean, something negative sometimes, something positive comes out of it. And yeah. look what it's doing. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Oh my god, if Chef stopped fucking uh, talking to me, yes, yes, Chef, yes. I'm sorry, y'all. You know what I mean? Oh, but, you know, but go go then go goes get you know get get his light, get his shine again. Yeah, Go Go is doing what it do, man. Oh, we, yeah. we are winning out in these streets. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, uh, I'm so excited that finally, you know, this past year they did, uh, they did the movie. The uh, Dion, I can't think of his last name, but over at the Office of DC Cable and Television, did a movie about Go Go and the plight of Go Go. It was fire. It was fire. Yeah. The movie was called, um, I can't think of it, but I'll find it and get it to you. Anyway, it was so good. I was like sitting in there, man, that movie took me from when I was a teenager all the way up to now. And to see all of the Go-Go legends coming out and doing their thing and, you know, showing up for Go-Go, <laughs> Dale, okay, Dale, showing up for Go-Go and- right. Uh, showing out, man. This thing is really, really finally paying off. It's unfortunate it's been so long, though. You know, I love Go Go. I use I use Go Go this weekend. I was gonna make love. I came all quick. But you great come. I was like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> the good I, you know, synchronize your time and lesson. I was like, I know you ain't about to come. I was like, oh, uh -oh. Now, let's uh -oh. get the fuck out of here because this was some shit. That's not <laughs> what she was saying. <laughs> Three in the morning, the pancake. <laughs> Three uh, in the morning. Hey, right there. That's all right there. That's all right there. Promote obesity. What your fat ass doing at the pancake house? Three in the morning. <laughs> That's why nobody can get healthy in DC. Shit like that. Three in the morning, the pancake. Your fat ass shouldn't be going to pancake house three in the clock in the morning. That's why your ass big in DC. Shout, these things ain't good. I'm watching big asses in DC. That's why I got them big asses in DC. Going to oh, back right. out three in the morning. That's your fault. <laughs> Listen, you shut the hell up, Lord Timmy. You shut up. Hey, BB. Hey, BB. To the party. She said, that's awesome. She from DC by way of Charlotte. <laughs> that's right. She from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, I did a show in Charlotte. It, it's so me when I was I did a show wasn't nobody from Charlotte. It was everybody from DC down there. Yeah, it was so many people from DC down there. DC shows up. Yeah, DC they they yeah, they show up anywhere. Out this and um, I'm telling you, we we really are starting to get our just due on this on this thing with the go go and all that shit. Big Dale telling me to focus because I'm all over the place. But you know, we are the most. Unprepared, prepared show ever. And Nikki got ADHD. You know Nikki crazy. You know Nikki crazy. Nikki can sit right there, do the show, get up and start vacuuming, and then sit back down like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Don't judge me, motherfucker. <laughs> so listen, here's the thing. Uh, apparently, Jesse Smollett is in hot water again. 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 Can I tell you, I can't say enough about this motherfucking shit. Let this nigga go. Let no. him live. Why, why are y'all fucking with Jussie? You know what, though? I heard an interview of him. He said he was rear-ended. I said, no, man. No, you are. Right. <laughs> you are awful. So apparently the case got reopened, right? Uh-huh. 
don't ask me how, but the only black prosecutor on the show is now, I mean, on the case is now in hot water, according to reports. They said that the retired appellate judge, Sheila O'Brien, whoever she is, requested that a special prosecutor investigate this and find out why the charges against Jesse all of the sudden got dropped, right? Right. I agree. Why? Joe, wait a minute. should have got dropped. Let me should have got dropped. Stop. Hold on. Judge Michael Tooman approved the request so Smollett and Cook, the lawyer, I mean, and Cook County uh, prosecutor, Kim Fox, first black prosecutor mm -hmm. in the, in the uh, county, might be in big trouble, mm -hmm. according to this. Mm -hmm. But do me a favor. Now, well, tell you me, mean, you tell can't me fake a, put your, so your fake a crime, call the police, and nothing supposed to happen. He faked it. You know nothing happened. You know, come on, stop. What about Barbecue Becky, nigga? Oh, what about look, 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 stop. Look, look. All she did was call the police. She didn't fake a crime. He faked the whole... He yeah. make the whole scenario. He accused black people of doing some shit to her. He, he do. That's different of a cute. He 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 actually went out and hired somebody and then lied about it. Called exactly. the police. Had the police investigate. Come on, stop. Allegedly. Stop. Allegedly, my ass. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Them buying the rope in the store. That wasn't enough. Then you hired two dumbass African. <laughs> you said they white two African dudes. Come on, stop. You had two Uber drivers. <laughs> <laughs> you are awful, Timmy. That out of here. Allegedly. 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 You can't say that that man is guilty when we don't know for sure if that man is guilty. Okay? Stop. Just stop. Y'all know he's guilty. He faked that whole shit. He faked the whole And still got fired. And the show still ended. So that's how dumb he is. Because the show was going off the air anyway, dummy. <laughs> I don't know what y'all think. Think about it though. The show was going off the air anyway. Huh? The show was going off the air anyway. I mean, the show was going off the air. Nevertheless, I, I don't think that this is a crime that we need to exhaust a lot more resources on. You know, no. if you think he's guilty, okay, let's let's proceed in that vein. If you think that this is some extra you know, because he a black man or a gay man or whatever the fuck kind of man on television, he's famous and faked the crime, then let's pro let's proceed in that vein. No, but no, I let's just do this. Either let's way, it's extra. It's extra. Let that shit go. That's what I think. No, don't let it go. Just Let's just not publicize it. It's just no big deal. It ain't the fact he's letting it go. You know, let's, just, let's stop publicizing it because nobody really care. How about that? It's the same thing. Let that shit go. But yeah, let, let I mean, no. I say charge his ass. I don't care about charging his ass, but just let we ain't gotta hear about it. But he <laughs> shouldn't have did it. You don't fake his whole goddamn. You got two Africans. How you got two Africans buying a room for the first with yeah. your credit card? <laughs> Good morning, Bree. Welcome to the party. I don't agree with Timmy. Whatever. He said Justin should be ashamed of all the things he did. Yep. And the man can sing, so he didn't hate, he didn't need Empire. He got a whole nother career. He did. He did. He fucked himself up. Allegedly. No, he ain't allegedly do shit. <laughs> that nigga, that's like OJ. That nigga guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I ain't saying I don't believe he did that shit. I think he did that shit, but I think that we going a little overboard with all this back and forth. No, look, he yeah. did this shit himself. Yeah. He probably, now he did it himself. He gonna talk about somebody sucked him into it. No, they didn't, Jess. You did it yourself. Wait, suck, they, he, he, they he, sucked him into it. <laughs> Is that, I wonder which one of them sucked him into it. <laughs> I wonder exactly which one of them big man didn't go suck because they could have sucked me into some shit. Them okay. strong motherfuckers. Let me tell you. Okay, fuck them. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Aisha Curry. Okay. Isha Curry was on The View, y'all, and she apparently is, is feeling, you know, some kind of way about the fact that people, um, wait, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, y'all know, I go back and forth, I just saw Mimi's comment, she said, did he get his sandwich though? <laughs> Big Dale, Big Dale, come in here, come in here and rescue me, listen. 
uh, Aisha Curry. Hey, Dale, welcome to the party, bro. What's up, Dale? Hey, what's going on? Listen, let me tell you what's going on now. Uh, I'm saying Aisha Curry is the best. I know. I go back and forth. we getting through that. We got you. Mutual, mutual recording. Come here. Come here and rescue me. Oh, my God. Take me back out. Come here. Aisha Curry. Big Dale, you got to turn the volume on. Nigga, I sound like we said this. <laughs> nigga, nigga, how you got the only rewind phone? How you rewinding the phone? I mute this broadcast. When he nigga, figured that shit out. How, how, nigga, how nigga, that nigga, that nigga is a phase. That nigga is CIA. That nigga is taping us. Nigga, we got, don't, get, don't bring him back on here. That nigga is taping us. We just caught Dale. With, with, a, with a goddamn microphone on his chest, on his hairy ass chest. You can't see it because there's a hair around it. Are you ready? Big Dale, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Oh, nigga. Don't, hey, yo. We just found out you a fucking CIA agent, yo, with a microphone on your hairy chest. Just heard it. Just heard it. You going around taking down live streams all over the country and shit. <laughs> Listen. Oh, what's up, Timmy? What's up, baby? You got the fresh cut, S. Carol gone. Uh, all gone, baby. Look at you. Look at you sit there. Take top tootie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. I just got clear about the doctor to go back to the gym and do. I can do upper body work, so I'm getting ready to go today soon. Nigga, we this show. Go now. Click off and go now. <laughs> go now, nigga. Oh. Don't waste no time with your body. Three hey, in the morning, I, the pain can't happen. That's where I was at. That's where I was at. I was coming from the go go in the show show and let them know no. Talk about Aisha now. So Terry uh, says the black community did not embrace her. So she appeared on the View, and halfway through the show, she shared a little piece about growing up in Toronto and moving on to North Carolina, and now how the black people tried to force her to be black as shit, right? Like you black, but you ain't black black. Sort of like how shape gay uh. Shep is gay. She gay, but she ain't gay, gay. They was like, Aisha, okay, you black, but you ain't black, black. So she said they forced, they tried to force her. She shunned away from us, black people, because they tried to force her to embrace, embrace her blackness in a way that she was not comfortable with. Okay. So she spoke on how it made her um, feel like she didn't want to be around black people for a long time, for years, in fact. She said uh, she asked that black people embrace all people and not, you know, like. Hey, don't do it, Aisha. As soon as you turn black, your credit score drop dramatically. Don't do it, Aisha. <laughs> you embrace that other side. Okay. You try to be black, black. Black, black, get your ass on crack, crack. You won't get shit back, back. Don't you do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she. I can't say your little ass thing. You are too much. Don't do it. She do, she do a little much on the social media for me, man. Yeah, me too. Aisha? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You say so, Dale. She she does she does a little bit much. She does a little bit too much for me on social media. Like she's looking to for too much justification of herself on social media instead of being happy with herself and being happy with the life she has. It's just it's totally too much for me. Like every week it's something with her on social media. Like what about your kids? What about your husband? Stop all that worried about you, you, you on social media. You know I, I agree. I disagree. What? She, 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 it's too much. About you, you, you. What, she, what should she be worried about? No, every time you turn around, she's saying something. I guess to bring more attention to herself. You know, on social like media. She's like she's not happy. You know, you know I mean? she's not happy with herself. She's not happy with herself. She's not happy with her life. It seems like every time you turn around, she's always complaining. Shut your ass up, girl. You got stuff in care. If I had stuff in care, I wouldn't say shit. <laughs> look, how many, look how many people out here in this world that would love to be in her position. Hell you know yeah. I mean? Your job is to bounce his balls. Y'all know, <laughs> y'all know no matter what, how well off you are, you can find something wrong with your circumstances. Right. Well, I'm not saying that her life is, is perfect or anything like that, but it's not this bad. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Dell, we were perfect being, you know exactly one thing. You can't please a goddamn woman. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you can't you can't please you can't please them all the time, man. You got you know you be, like I I don't understand why she's not happy. She don't seem like she's happy a little bit. Like you got stuff going on for yourself. Your husband's doing great. You got great kids. Well, I mean, come on, man. You I worry about you worry about what people say about you. She happy a little bit. 
you know what I'm saying? You can go out here, you can go out here and feed, like we can leave here and go out here and feed 10,000 people. Somebody gonna find something negative to say about you, regardless of whatever you do in life. Somebody gonna always find something to say about you. I agree, I agree with that. Like your, like your man paid all that people, all them people tuitions at Morehouse. They found something to say about him. Oh my God, he married to a white woman. So what? Right, I agree with you. When I found out he's married to a white woman, that raised his stock for me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that nigga doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga doing right by the black. And he married to a white Oh, this nigga get this nigga getting regular blowjobs and he got money. Oh, shit, this nigga my hero. You never know that you're my hero. The comments of Officer Timmy is not the, the opinions of everyone on the show. This is not the opinion of all the sponsors on the show. <laughs> everyone has their own opinions. <laughs> it's too early for this shit. <laughs> so, uh, earlier before you came in, we were talking about Jesse. So, Chicago decided Jesse Smollett. Who are they? This nigga, Jesse. <laughs> Chicago decided to uh, reopen the case against Justice Smollett and uh, apparently investigate why the prosecutor, the black prosecutor, uh, Kim, decided that she, I mean, well, decided to drop the case. Let's just say that. I won't say she. Whatever the influences were, I'll say that, you know, she in trouble too now. Uh, you know, you, you you know that was gonna happen. I, I almost figured that was gonna happen because what black man or woman gets off right now in this day and time? Who who gets scot free? Like right, right, but you know, okay, what? you can go. Yeah, no. come on, come on, but we out of it is. We out of it is. His ass should get prosecuted. That was the worst acting job ever, nigga. First of all, pick some better actors, nigga. You should have said and cut, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Like when, you, when, you, when you do a movie scene and it ain't going right, don't you cut? <laughs> and you drop that, oh, edit that bitch? He didn't edit it, nigga. That just, he just went right for it. You don't do the unedited version. If you're going to kidnap yourself, don't uh, don't undo the unedited version. Edit that shit. Yeah, motherfucker. It looked it look like he got he went and got some two big gay African niggas to do it. They yeah. <laughs> look like he was full and gay. I, I, the first I, thing I, they said, oh, uh, um, him paid us. Him paid us. <laughs> Why y'all do it? Him paid us. <laughs> Him paid us. <laughs> he gave us some milk and cookies. <laughs> he said, get some rope and some tape. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that's funny, nigga. Uh, look, look, at at him. Him. look at him. Look at him. Look at breast milk dicky right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Timmy. <laughs> I see. I see you in them gray sweatpants. That's what he said right there. Yeah. I see oh, you, cameraman. Man. <laughs> hey Zulu. Hey Zulu. Oh, you agree <laughs> that they should continue to, to pursue this and prosecute this? Yes. I'm talking to Dale, not you, nigga. I already know what you say. We should, you say on a nigga's neck. That's what you say, officer. <laughs> should they? I mean, I think he'd have got so much prosecution from the public eye. It, it don't really matter at this point. You know what I'm saying, but because I mean we we as a people we gonna always judge our people, but as a it, it is a crime now. Now it is a crime now to understand why he got off so easily. I have no idea what happened. It was a little bit of might have been a little tit for that. You know what I'm saying? It may and maybe you know what I'm saying. The, maybe the um prosecutor was she from DC? No. I don't oh, okay. Because he might, he might just went in the office and connected with. He talking about my favorite song is "Loose Booty." <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> so, Bree said the whole Jesse incident was messy and embarrassing to our race. It was to the it to was. the race to the LGBT community. To, to those actors out there that's really trying to, to make it and make it the right way, right. you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it, yeah. yeah. The LGBT community, niggas in BCCC, niggas the CIA, What's FBI, BCCC? all them niggas. Wait, what is BCCC? No more community <laughs> college, bitch. Hey, I went. <laughs> you got me, nigga. You got me, 
that one because I didn't think you had <laughs> <laughs> y'all crazy, boy. Hey, y'all family that's watching, man. We appreciate y'all joining us. Like and share this feed, please. Hit the share button right now. Hit the share button. I want you to reach out on your phone, on your on your on your tablet, on your um laptop, and hit share right now. Right now, I feel you through the screen. If you hit share right now, I'm gonna send you a little red rag. <laughs> Give it up for Pastor SpongeBob body. <laughs> <laughs> Hit share and come on down with us, the oh family, because it's too early for this shit. But you uh, can tell this clown been staying up late watching late night TV. Come on, we can give you a red rag. Hey, do y'all remember Reverend Ike, man? Was y'all parents or your grandparents or something? I think, yeah, man, and when I, I'm from Atlanta. Well, my grandma and them used to love some Reverend Ike. Yeah. It'd be easy to be proud counters coming in the mail talking about she done sent Reverend Ike some money. So, look, <laughs> but said the fact that he only paid those Nigerians $3,000 make them dumber than just. No, it ain't. They from Nigeria. They, they, how much you think $3,000 is about? No, no, $3 million. Yeah. <laughs> They probably, they probably somewhere now sitting lavishly the king of a <laughs> Nigeria because $3,000. $3,000. Shit. They, you, they, know how, you, you know how many CDs they done made and movies they done made to sell down there? They done came all the way up with that money, honey. Y'all yep. talk I want to say. Them motherfuckers sissies came up. Okay. Baby, don't hold it back. Let it go, BB. Go Let ahead and laugh baby. at work. It's only a job. Make the workplace happy. Stop being bougie. Hey, hey, BB. Oh, my God. Hey, BB. If you get five from Burger King, McDonald's, right down the street, don't have you got a good job. You right there. Fries up. I ain't trying to laugh. Fries up. Oh, Lord. Laugh. Be happy. Make the workplace better. Tell everybody sitting next to you, go ahead and hit the show and hit the like and share button, just like you just did. Maybe if you laugh, if you don't hold it, I'm telling you, a fart. You better not get ready to get out of here, but. That is, look, we got some more. We got one video that I've been dying to run on here. It is the newest, the dumbest shit ever. I got to find it while we uh, get ready to wrap up. What are you doing this week, Timmy? Well, tonight I'll be in New York tonight in the Bronx at the Havana Cafe. Mm -hmm. Wednesday I'll be uh, uh, at, uh, back at uh, Rikers Island doing two shows at the jail again. And then back in Brooklyn the same night. And this weekend I'll be in McGooby's Joke House. All weekend. Wait a minute. So you going back to jail? Yep. It's a good show. They love this day. So we go. They do shows there all the time. They got me going to two shows. I got to do the woman's jail and the male jail. I can't wait to do the woman's jail. I'm going there all up. I can't wait to do the woman's jail. <laughs> you going to do six and a half push-ups and put some baby oil on. Oh, uh, baby oil all on me. Somebody's getting fucked, okay? Yeah. You see me going back to the jail. I don't I'm, know what that's about. I'm going to the female side this time. I can't wait. Last time I did the mail jail, I was like, where my ladies at? Nobody said nothing. I was like, hey, ain't it? They not here, nigga. That's what they, they are. They ain't finished prosecuting Jesse yet. <laughs> <laughs> so check this out, y'all. This cat, I don't know. This was probably some re Republican event somewhere. But for me, this was the dumb shit of the day. This shit is hilarious. This motherfucker, they were in there and they were dancing to some R&B. And the white girl got a little beside herself. Check it out. Hold on. She was <laughs> she got into it a little too much. And the uh whoever, whoever the man is to her was like, bitch, wait. <laughs> that was a fault. Hold on, I gotta show it. I gotta put it up in the broadcast. It's there you go. So this shit is fucking hilarious. I cannot watch it. Without it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, we're not black. Wow, she about to truck that thing. She about to truck that ass. One more time. We got a black boyfriend. He was like, wait. Man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! Get <laughs> out of here! Not that! Never! Acting like a nigger! <laughs> he like, wait, we're not black! You're going too far! 
<laughs> we're not home. We're not home, Becky. Yeah. The only like, Amber. Jamal is not here. <laughs> no niggas yeah. sitting in public. Wait, what? Not here. <laughs> yeah, O'Shea, she got a black boyfriend. She, that is her black boyfriend. That white nigga standing right next to him. He's only black when they role play, though. <laughs> hey, yo, before we get out of here, I want to give a shout out to Mary J. Blige. Yeah. Last night. And then, and then, and then, in 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 an interim saying Mary J. Blige, you also say a lot. You know, a lot of her music and a lot of that bad boy music came from the D.C. area. And Nikki left. Me and you still here? Oh yeah, we still here. Well, a lot yeah. of music came from the D.C. area. My yeah. man Tyler Perry. You know, he said some good shit last night. Yeah, he did. Proud of him, man. All, all he's done, man. And proud of each and every one of y'all that watch us every day, man. Thank you know what I'm so saying. Much. And, and, not, are, and not have are, so are, much we expectations. We are like this close from getting our own show. This, yeah, that's like 15 years. This close. <laughs> this close. That's like 15 years. We just got a letter the other day talking about 15 more years and about 2 million more viewers. This show going to go national. Y'all keep we, liking we're going our going to the top, baby. I don't know what happened, y'all. We had so, so in closing, <laughs> like and share this feed. <laughs> we coming to Charlotte, girl. We coming to Charlotte. We coming everywhere. Yeah. Hey, man, what's up? I love Charlotte. What? What? As I yeah, love we good, Charlotte. yeah, we we, de we definitely going on tour. We going on tour. I just talked to my man this morning. Um, he almost finished putting the muff muffler on the Studebaker. We almost ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> So Timmy's not a cop anymore. You or... mind if, don't worry about what I do. You on <laughs> my lead bank. You, if, if you're here, that means you ain't working either. Mind your damn business. It's the <laughs> yeah, Don't worry about Mind your business. Worry about your own. <laughs> no. Oh. We love all y'all. We love y'all to death. Timmy. How would you say, bitch, you trying to be on world style? He's a white bitch. I thought he was talking about you, little Timmy, my bad. <laughs> he said, I'm going to sponsor this show. Thank you, Bree. Thank you, Bree. We love you. We Just love let us ride that uh, purple um, Bentley in that um, picture you got. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we, we got great go because, Dell, you got to go to the gym. I'm sick of looking at that shit. <laughs> Dell, you got to go now. Take your ass to Planet Unfitness. He got to Planet Unfitness. Around the corner for up to right around the corner for playing the fit. That nigga, that nigga got rock body. Fuck brain body. When I, when I walk in the gym, they give they give you a milkshake and three donuts. <laughs> three sponsors. Yes. All right, cool. One for each of us. That's what we need. Yeah, we got sponsor EBT. <laughs> this show is brought to you by EBT. <laughs> Little Timmy, you trifling. Stop being so nasty. All right. We need those, those sponsors. Oh, yeah, we need them. We need B, E, and T. We need all of them, okay? Yeah, we need yes, them all. Indeed. B, B, and T, whoever the hell they are. We need them. We need them. Yes, so, indeed. Shout out again one more time to the BET Awards for setting it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, 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 very proud. And I am so DC, I can't even tell you. You know, everything that we do in D.C. has been underrated for such a long time. It has. Especially the music. Especially the Go-Go. Go-Go go 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 should have been national years ago. Yeah, it almost went national thanks to Spike Lee putting EU in that movie, Do the Right, right Thing. Uh, it, it almost went national, but um, I, I just don't know what it is. The world did not embrace Go-Go music then. Right. We lost Chuck. It got a little more notoriety. On the uh, at the Chuck Brown funeral, and every year they have the Chuck Brown reunion. But recently, this Don't Mute DC actually has uh, turned yeah. into a movement, and we appreciate it. Taraji, Regina, Regina, Hall. Regina definitely did her thing by having that there. So, she definitely did her thing for DC by having it there. Did you, you see know? Taraji twerk? Yes, oh, I yeah, did. Taraji, you yes, know, she, she straight, she, she straight DC, Maryland, DC. Yeah, I saw, I saw Regina Hall. I see Regina Hall pop that ass. I'm like, God damn! But don't nobody pop that ass like Big Nick. Hey, nigga, nigga, put that truck down. Pump that truck. <laughs> Pump that truck. Pump that. Truck. Pump that, truck. Pump that, truck. that bitch got a backup <laughs> camera on. <laughs> 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 you ever see the ass with a backup camera? You, Del? You ever see the ass with a backup camera? <laughs> She be walking down the street, my boy be riding by little boys be doing like this. Yeah. 
Blow your horn. 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 Hey, Liddell, I know some ass that came with Flagger Force. The motherfucker. <laughs> Then Come she get mad, turn around at the little boy, be talking about, don't you be fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to get the hell out of here, y'all. Uh, we got to go. Love y'all. As always, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. I come in here for my daily dose of therapy and <laughs> just feel good for the week and shit. Feel it's good about life, man. It's a new week. It's new opportunities. It's it's great moments. It's great moments to be amazing, man. To be who you are, man. Remember, hey, my simple thought for the day, man. Look at somebody, just smile at them. Say hello. You'll change their day. See, 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 Dale, you can't do that in 2019. That's like me too shit. <laughs> Don't do that shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't smile at nobody. Walk past their ass like you don't see them. Don't do that. Shit. <laughs> this that new 2019 shit. Don't smile at nobody. <laughs> and your ass get locked up. Listen, we are here Monday <laughs> morning between 10 He violated me. <laughs> he violated you. <laughs> you stupid. And, and we are talking about anything and everything, but mostly we ain't talking about shit. Because we ain't nothing. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. That's it. We're going to talk about it every day at 1030. Fucking television expectations because we don't give a fuck. All right? We getting the fuck out of here simply because it's too early for this shit. Peace, Peace y'all.